Will Zalatoris. This is at the 14th for Bernie. Well, they say make percent 10% of the time. He makes it 100% of the time. Been battling some injuries, battling that putter as well. Now the tee shot at the 15th. Well, battling his driver, only hit four fairways on the day, but this isn't, a, this isn't one he has to worry about. This is a par three, but hitting the irons pretty solid right over the hole, and we'll give him that one. Yeah, that's a tap in birdie for Zala Torres, and then the par five, 17th, hitting his third for Eagle. Yeah. This one right here at 17, some 45 feet, eight inches away, and look at the speed control. Two putt birdies are nice. Always. And then a birdie attempt at the 18th as well. And again, to finish the day, you know, he's been close. I, I think a lot of things are starting to trend Will Zalatoris' way, and uh, if those are going in, look out. So Zalatoris with a round of 66. That has him in a tie for fourth. Several players resting on that number, including Ricky Fowler, who you heard from a moment ago. Zalatoris speaking after his round. Yeah, really nice opening round for Will Zalatoris. Eight birdies on your scorecard. What was the proper formula that gave you that great score today? Yeah, I mean, I think I made a, about 159 feet of putts is what I was told. So it's kind of nice when uh, you kind of get out of position and then uh, and make one. You know, this is a pretty bumpy point of greens. I mean, you know, this is kind of like playing on the West Coast, which I've always played well on the West Coast. Um, and so it's uh, it's just a lot of patience, a lot of acceptance. You know, you're going to hit some good putts that might bounce out. You're going to hit some putts that might bounce back in. And uh, I had a few today that just happened to bounce in. So, um, but overall, I mean, I hit a couple of nice wet shots in there. Um, you know, my speed was great all day. Um, you know, just got to get those middle irons kind of cleaned up a little bit so I can give myself some better chances as opposed to, you know, having to lag it from 50 feet out here. You know, we talked yesterday and you said, hey, you, you've obviously made some, some swing changes, some equipment changes, and you just need reps out here. What does a round like this do for your belief and, and your confidence in those reps? Yeah, you know, I, I, I really feel that I, the more that I play, the more comfortable I'm going to get. You know, it's one thing to be doing it at home, you know, with buddies playing for, you know, a coin here and there. And it's another thing, you know, when you're on the range, but it's another one you're doing it out here. And so, um, you know, it's nice to do it two times out of the last – um, two weeks, but um, you know, I'll uh, I'll take this and uh, and hopefully run with it for the rest of the week.